Hi, I'm Chen Zi Li from Taiwan, National Taiwan University School and Graduate Institute of Physical Therapy. Today, I'm going to share with you our study, Trajectories of Functional Exercise Capacity in Patients Undergoing Pulmonary Rehabilitation. Pulmonary rehabilitation is now considered fundamental when managing patients with chronic respiratory disease. However, the individual variation in functional exercise capacity response to pulmonary rehabilitation within the cohort is unknown. And group-based trajectory modeling is a person-centered method to predict the trajectory curve for each individual with the purpose of classifying individuals into subgroups based on the starting point and changes over time. Therefore, this study was to identify functional exercise capacity patterns in response to pulmonary rehabilitation in patients with chronic respiratory disease using the group-based trajectory modeling. This is a retrospective study based on the analysis of patient data. In total, there were 84 patients with chronic respiratory disease referred to a week outpatient pulmonary rehabilitation program. All patients receive once weekly supervised training for eight weeks. Muscle strength and six minute walk distance were assessed at baseline week four, week eight, and monthly for two months after pulmonary rehabilitation completion. There were 67 patients who completed the pulmonary rehabilitation program and were classified into three groups, low, moderate, and high functional exercise capacity group. The results show that compared to high functional exercise capacity group, the resting pulse oxygen saturation in low functional exercise capacity group was significantly lower. Compared to the high functional exercise capacity group, a greater proportion of the patients in the low functional exercise capacity group required oxygen supplementation both at rest and during training. Compared to baseline, 6-minute walk distance improved significantly after 4 weeks of training for all groups, but only the high functional exercise capacity group demonstrated further increases at 8 weeks of training. The improvement of 6-minute walk distance after 8-week training was maintained in the moderate and high functional exercise capacity groups at 1 month and 2 months follow-up. However, the low functional exercise capacity group showed a declining trend of 6-minute walk distance at 1 month and 2 months follow-up. The patients in the low functional exercise capacity group had worse baseline leg muscle strength. All groups demonstrated significant improvement in leg muscle strength after 8 weeks of pulmonary rehabilitation, and it was maintained for the subsequent 2 months. In conclusions, patients showed distinct patterns of 6-minute walk distance in response to 8-week pulmonary rehabilitation. Poor lower extremity strength and a greater proportion of required oxygen use at home and during training were distinct characteristics for the low functional exercise capacity group. You can read our articles to find out more detailed information about our study. Thank you for watching our video.